welcome to the Monday Night Raw Series 2. I am Luke Owen, D.A.D., representing Monday Night Raw. I am Chopper Pete Quinnell, representing Monday Night Smackdown. We're playing through my GM mode on WWE 2K22. And this is episode number 7. Indeed it is. Yeah, we are on the road to Slammiversary. It's still TLC. <laughs> It's always been TLC, Luke. Always, and it always will be. And it always will just be. Just don't go chasing those waterfalls. <laughs> I don't want no scrubs. <laughs> just want to book a show. And yeah, you got rid of some scrubs last week with Tamina. <laughs> I sure did. A hundred grand. <laughs> Of Tamina. <laughs> laughable. It's laughable. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, well, this is episode seven. And hey, you know, this series is only here because you're here. This series only exists because of our wonderful Patreon backers. But the series also exists because of this episode sponsor. Take it away, Pete. When I'm signing contracts online for all my big name talent for Monday Night Smackdown, there's something strange in my internet neighborhood. And it's happening in yours too. There are companies online that are buying up your data and then selling that onto other companies who can then use it for presumably nefarious means. When was the last movie you saw where the big company that does things like buying data were presented as the good guys? This is happening to you right now as we speak. Data like your name, date of birth, address, phone number, social security number, email, and more is being bought and sold, but you have the ability and the legal right to have your data removed from these databases. But to do so would take years, and I don't have years available to me because I'm busy booking Monday Night Smackdown. So it's time we thank this episode's sponsor, Incogni, who have made this second season of Monday Night War possible, and they're making your data safer too. Incogni can do all the work for you to get your data removed from these companies. All you have to do is create an account and grant access to Incogni to represent you. Then you can kick back and go back to doing things like booking Monday Night Smackdown and crushing Luke's dreams. Stupid Luke, I bet you he's got loads of data being sold around because he can't rogue rivalries. He needs Incogni. And you do too, and you can get control of your data and protect it from being leaked by corporate breaches by signing up for Incogni using our link below, or with the code PUSHTUCKER at checkout. Act fast now because the first 100 people to use that code and our link will get 20% off their order. That's promo code PUSHTUCKER to get 20% off at checkout. Right, Pete, well, I, I, well I'm going to book some logistics this week. Uh, well. I hope so. Yeah, that, that's step one mm. of actually what I'm going to do this week. Funnily enough, Luke, last week I booked my logistics first before booking my show. Man, what a, what a wild and wacky idea. Because I got a lot of money. So I was like, let me buy all the stuff that I want to buy. Let me book all the logistics. <laughs> And yeah, then I, I can book my I show. Think of that. I need to look at all that as well. Yeah. I've, got, I've got quite a busy little episode, actually, mm. by the looks of things. It's going to um, be a fun one. Yeah, <clears> right. <throat> well, I'll tell you what. Tell you what's also fun, Pete. Oh, my God. It's going to turn into a noose before long. <laughs> um, well, the Spice Girls actually... Oh, Spice Girls did do me some good last week. Yeah, but, they did. Um, maybe I will... Do you know what? I'm going to move over. I'm going to keep with Spice Girls. But I'll go a year later. A year later. And I'll start with some spice up your life. Great. Oh, yeah. It, it, it is, Pete. I'm, I'm sure it is. You, go, right. you good? I'm ready. Got your music. All got right. my music. Here we go. I've got seven minutes on the clock. Three, two, one. Let's go. <clears throat> Here's a message from Dana Brooke. That loser Carmella attacked me during that last fight. I'm not going to stand for garbage like that. I want to settle things in the ring with her within the next, the next three weeks. So that's seven, week seven, week eight, week nine. Damn it, you're supposed to have your blow-off match in week 10. I really don't want to book you in a match before we get to the pay-per-view because people might get bored of that. Um, what to do? Also, my microphone is staying up, <laughs> which is an issue. Come on, do the... You know what, I'm just going to... Nope, it's still, it's still, okay, that's, that's, it's fine, it's fine. I'm sure this is great audio content. Uh, so I can't, <sighs> I can do one match, right? They're in a level four rivalry. I can book them in one match between now and the pay-per-view and it'll be fine, right? I think. Let's, let's do it. You mess with Brooke, you pay the pay. All right, yeah, sure. We're talking with Bait a lot lately, and it's great that we just team up for a tag match. I think we're making awesome tag. You and Tyler Bait? Not Tyler Bait. He sucks. Um, why would you want to? Why? Right. Look, look, Tucker. I love you, 
Why do you want to be in a tag team with Tyler Bate? What is wrong with you? Tyler Bate, of all people, Tyler Bate, Tyler, Tyler Bate, Tyler Bate, Tyler, Tyler Bate, Tyler Bate. No, 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 no. Tyler, Tyler Bate. What is wrong with you? Can I, can I just do him in one tag match? Uh, let's see how your team works out. Please don't say it's this week. Oh, in the next few weeks, you said it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, yeah, sure. I can work him in one match at least. Uh, let's see. What can I schedule and run in one of your champions this week? I can probably do that. Schedule and run in on Orton, right? Dana Brooke, a grudge match against Carmella within three weeks. Shotzi demanded that she win her next match. Injury rehab three, I'm not super jazzed about. I don't need it. So if I happen to book in and run in on a champion, that's fine. But if I don't, whatever. Um, let's get this. Let's get this. Uh, 52 grand. Whew. That's a lot of money, um, but that's fine. Uh, uh, remind me to go back, remind me everyone to go back to my logistics afterwards uh, so I can look at all the optional bonuses. Okay, so um, who needs resting? How's Tucker looking? Where you at, Tucker? Stamina 38, so you still need to rest, and Carmella as well could do with the rest. Um, okay, uh, what we're going to do here then is we're going to have... Um, <coughs> what are we going to do here? We're going to do... Right? Does that work? Can we put in a title match? Well, the stamina's are good. Yeah, sure. Uh, how about an opener? Uh, why don't we do... Why don't we try and start a fuse between Liv Morgan and Bailey? Both of them are very good. Um, and then we can have... Uh, we want to rest Carmella, so let's do that. Um, and we can have Dana Brooke do like a, a self-promo or something. Uh, in fact, let's log that in. Let's have Dana Brooke do a self-promo. Um, because her stamina's not great, so she could deal with not resting this week as well. Um, we can do... Uh, who else would like to wrestle? Joaquin, Wild, and Ivar have still got loads of stamina, so they can put on another banger. Sure. Just do a normal match. Let's swap that with the opener here, just because they're in a rivalry and they're not. Uh, and if we do... We could do Shotzi versus Jax. Uh, I don't want to do Tucker's tag match yet. Um, but we could do, you know what, let's have a quick look here. And see if we can get a Lurch Evans. Andrea Cannons is not a terrible shout. Uh, ignition. Um, Andrea Cannons... You might do, I guess. I mean, if I'm starting a few between Morgan and Bailey, then I don't really need you right now. So I can come back to you later. Um, but why don't I do... Let's just do Jax versus Shotzi. Normal for now. Jax is going to need a rest, but that builds up that feud, and that's fine. Um, who else is on here? Randy Orton can do a self-promo as well. And we can do a... Charity promo with Jive. To level two or higher rivalries, I don't think I can do that. Because I've got Ivar and Whacking Wild, Carmella and Brooke I can't do. And that's my only two level two or higher rivalries, so I can't do that. Four special match types, run-ins or GM interferences. Um, no, I, I, I can't and I won't done that one and two substars with great in the 60 popularity on different promo types uh so what if one of these was a call out what if i change this to a call out of tucker i mean i could rest tucker but the promo code says push tucker so what do you want me to do i've got to push tucker yeah boy. okay and that should work because that should hopefully get him up to a level four rivalry 
Any power cards here? Oh, yes. Delightful. Um, Shotzi's in a match. I want to fix her match. I've got a minute left. Uh, let's fix this match. Uh, where's Shotzi? Where are you? There you are. I want to make sure that she wins so she's still happy. Um, I can buy this health spa. And I can buy this double cost. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Uh, and then I can get free arena booking, free crew booking, which I'll play on the pay-per-view. So I can book a load of big matches um, on the pay-per-view. That would be my plan. Uh, so the Dana Brooke Carmella match and the Tucker Tyler Bate tag match still needed. Shotzi is going to win her match on this one. I'm not going to do a run in on my champions because I don't need that injury rehab card. Um, I think I'm fine with all of this because we've got available week 10. Available week 10, available week 11, available week 12. So this is what I've got for my pay-per-view stuff at the minute, which is great. Uh, so that should be fine. And that is the show. <sighs> Luke! Yes, I know, sorry. Good. Get Just out of your Christmas. Get out of your your, your, your stupid music. And pay attention to what's important. The Monday Night War. <laughs> this is why I never win. <laughs> <laughs> You're too, too focused on the music. That's what it is. Can't get enough of the Spice Girls, man. Mm, it's clearly. Too, too good, bud. Mm. Um, right, okay. So, how, how was your week? It was fine. Yeah? It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. I've, it got, was fine. I've got no complaints okay, about well, that, this week. That's good. I thought it was... Solid. Solid. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Oh, it's, right, it's okay. a solid week. Let me get my call that. timer up. Right. Let me, get, let me get my music. Hold on. I need to. Oh, God, this guy this. again with the music. Hey, bloody hell. You know what I mean? Right, good. Let's go. Right, okay. Three, two, one. Bosh. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm booking this week. Like, I just spent all of that time during Pete's booking, and I don't think I know what I'm doing. Contract on Raw is up the end of the week. No, it ain't, bud. I'd be interested in staying across 4K. Oh. Okay, 100%. You are totally worth it, Higglesby. Shady Basil, I'm not going to lose my champion last week. Former champion, I'm enacting my rematch clause. When a rematch gets to Kota Kai, no one else better get a title shot before me. Delightful stuff. I can do that. Sure thing, Shayna. Uh, good. We went too long. Lovely. Cedric, they love us, Owen. Don't you think it's time to take the next step? Uh, I'm talking, of course, about some better effect packages. <laughs> oops. That's because I didn't do logistics last week. Uh, oops. Right. Logistics. <laughs> Idiot. Right. Uh, so I can't do that. Thunderdome. Oh, these are all like available to... Uh, so I can get the veteran crew. Do you know what? I'm going to spend some money here. Because I need to get these. Do that. Bosh. Uh, superstar signings at a cost of 52. Show quality 8. Fans gained right before I did this. What kind of power cards I want to pick up? Bit of TLC for 50k. That is actually well worth it. Let me get that one. Uh, right. Before I do anything else, I'm going to book my show. Right. Just to run on your most popular stars. For sake, why is it with the bloody available, like, available stars and all this? I'm going the way. Where are they? Manage roster. So schedule a running on Brock. Oh, like, I don't have Brock down for a match because his stamina's low. For fuck's sake, Trips. You are really fucking me over here every single goddamn time. Set me a commission to go like and actually do your bell end. <sighs> do you know what? F you, Triple H. You know that's bullshit. Again. Stop for the f Give me a run in. Make me do a run in. Book my champion. Book logistics. Just give me something I can fucking do. Prick. Anyway. Um, righty ho, do 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 do. Look at that. Look at Olaf there. Uh, right, what we're we doing? Let's actually book a show, shall we? Book show. Main event is going to be a one on one match between, I'm trying it, Nakamura versus fucking Beige. Let's go. <laughs> Let's try this. Beige is hurt. Do I want to do that? Do you know what? Let's not do that just yet. Let's start from the top. Right, I've got to make a decision here. Which one am I doing? Yes, this is what I'm doing. One-on-one -on -one match. The newly re-signed Mr. Higglesby versus Slapjack in an Extreme Rules match. Oh, my God. 
God, I'm just second guessing everything I'm doing here, right? This opening tag match is going to be Asuka and Naomi versus Raquel and Mandy Rose in a normal match, but the title is on the line. Please be okay, Asuka. Then I'll do Slapjack and Mr. Higglesby in a uh, tables match. And then I will do one on one match uh, Cedric Alexander versus Olaf in a Extreme Rules match. Let's do that. Because they've got enough, they've got enough, uh, got enough tank, uh, gas in the tank there. Which brings me to this main event. Oh, what do I do here? Because I've got. I could do Brock Lesnar versus. If I do Nakamura with a run in by Balor. <sighs> let's try that. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, so, because I then can't do a call-out promo of Balor, can I? Because he's involved in that. But I can do Shayna Baszler calling out Dakota Kai. Actually, let me just quickly check when. I promise Shayna the exclusive title. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I promise to show with tier three effects or better in the next two weeks. Okay, that's fine. Um, cool, so that's fine. So I can do that one next week. Uh, promo... Uh, let's do call out promo of Keith Lee calling out Cedric and I can do a charity promo with Dakota Guy or do I do it with the brute force because he's got loads of stamina and I can rest Kai for the week That's, he's rest Baszler for the week as well so why don't I then switch that out and actually have Kai calling out Baszler? Because that gives Baszler a bit more time to rest. Oh, I should really have him Brock rest as well because he's on 29. That's a free booking cruise. Maybe that is worth it. If I don't do that, I actually don't have much of a main event because... Although Beach is actually better now. Beach is better than Brock is. But let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to run the risk. 29, no shit. I've got, actually, no, I've got time to still think about this. Power cards have I got. Health bar. Uh, don't need that. I'm still looking for that woman after. A bruiser face. Bruiser, 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 bruiser. God, it's only Broderick's like the only one that ever comes up as a bruiser face. That sucks. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Bruiser, bruiser, bruiser. Farouk is a bruiser. I mean, I can't afford the, the lad at the moment. Oh, look at that. Mickey James is in the game. That's delightful. Ah, oh, man. Right, okay. Do, 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 do. I've done all this, haven't I? Yeah, that's, that's selected. That's selected. That's selected. No, it's not. That's because I was going to check that. Right, I can't afford to buy that one, so that's a... Bollocks. Guess we're doing that then. Doing regular local advertising and flyer advertising. Uh... I haven't got time to think about that, so... I've got to make a decision here. Am I doing Brock... And then I can rest Brock next week. That is what I'm doing. Right. That is face and heel, 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 face and heel. Right. <laughs> Confirm. That was a big breath. Yeah, it was. I'm worried about Brock. <gasps> Why? <clears throat> Fucking Triple H is determined to f me over. Okay. In order to get my commissioner goals, like, he keeps making me book people that are, like, either hurt or in bad fuse or something. Yeah, that's fair. So I, 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 I've taken a, taken a risk this week. Mm, and just hoping that it doesn't backfire. So you're hoping that Brock doesn't get injured. That's exactly right, dude. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds great. Oh, yeah.
Uh, on this oh, week, yes, because they keep—it's it's, fuck it, I was wild they, high bar again. They keep putting on bangers. What do you want me to do? Not book them? It's going to be great. Their stamina is still so high as well. I don't get it, but I'll take it. Yeah, it's great conditioning. Yeah, clearly both Three, of them are two, fantastic. One, here we go. Ivar picks gets up the win, the win again. again in a, Three and a half star opener with a level four rivalry piece. Love to see it. Delightful stuff. Uh, Self promo from Dana Brooke. Yep. Stamina's getting a little bit lower, yeah. um, as well as her, her opponent, Carmella, having very low stamina. Yeah. So, didn't want to in a match or anything. Yeah, yeah. Just be popular. Okay. Um, which, hopefully, she's good at. Oh, amazing. Excellent promo. Very Plus nice to see. Great stuff, Dana Good thing Brooke. for your... She's your champion she's still, right? She's my champ. Lovely yeah. stuff. Good she to is see. fantastic. Good to see. Uh, in a mid-card match, oh, let's try and start a new feud with Liv Morgan and Bailey. Let's go for it, man. Let's try it. If Bailey can start a feud here, that means... Statistically speaking, <laughs> I have booked her better than you did. It's true. I mean, I released her, so... You sure did. So let's see if this actually starts yeah. a rivalry. Oh, that be so funny if, if it, it doesn't, doesn't, all oh of this God, will be Oh, my God. Please don't. Please Come don't. On. Please don't. Please don't. Bailey, Bailey wins. wins. Bailey and, wins. And, and, and... <laughs> there it is! It actually happened, everyone! <laughs> Bailey gets a feud! A one and a half star match. Bout time, eh? <laughs> Why are you bad? Why are you guys bad? Bad. Why is it one and a half stars? Badly, more like. <sighs> Disappointingly. Right, yeah. Uh, uh, Randy Orton called out Tucker. Tucker still Ooh, needed I mean, to rest a little bit. Is that four? Is that moving to four? Moving to a level uh, four okay. rivalry. I thought that was already four out of four, and I was like, uh, oof, don't, no, don't no, overstretch no, no, no. these. No, no, no. I'm not crazy, Luke. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Uh, continuing the feud between Nia Jax and Shotzi. Lovely stuff. Uh, hopefully, this will further their rivalry as Two, well. Three. Shotzi gets Lovely the win. Stuff. Shotzi gets because the win. It didn't further the rivalry, but that's. It's fine. <laughs> Is it, Pete? It's fine. They're on a one. I've got, yeah. yeah. So I've got two more weeks to get into a level three rivalry. Mm. If I build it both weeks, then I can still blow off at the, at the pay per view. Yeah. Uh, Shotzi emailed me and said, I have to win my next match. <gasps> uh, and she must have emailed me that last week. Uh, so I fixed this match, so she won. Oh, so you need Sa okay, cool. saving that fixed match power card specifically for this situation when someone said I need to win a match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's Keeping there for. Keeping her happy. That's you know? what it's there for. That's what it's there for. Jada wins. <laughs> here to get some fans. Yeah. Captain in charity all... over here. I, I like to think that at this point he has set up the Jive Owens charity. Oh, and that's all he's plugging. I like it. So jiveowenscharity.com. Uh, yeah. and, and he's just plugging that every week. Who are they helping? Uh, this week, the Jive Owens charity are helping uh, kids in need in Africa, and they're helping uh, build some, you know, some fresh, clean water for them to get to. So it's a really good cause, uh, which is why we've got 5,000 more fans from it. It's great. I really thought that he'd be building dance floors around the world. You know like, what? That would have been way funnier. Yeah. But I... I, I panicked and just thought of an actual charity rather than a made up one that would have been funny for, say, the, for the bit. Going to Africa to help children learn to dance. <laughs> Let's rewind it. Jive Owens is actually, the Jive Owens charity is actually building dance floors all over the world to make sure that people know the power of Jive. I like it. Very mm. nice. What a, what a guy. Jive Owens has unveiled JiveOwensCharity.com. It is the best source of dancing in the world, and not the first thing I said, because it wasn't funny. But the dancing thing, we're going with it. JiveOwensCharity.com. Someone actually buy that website, that'd be great. What, what a, a guy. charity guy. Jive Owens. Getting, uh, getting oh, man, a charity. Bat the battery's running low. Well, oh, that's fine. And the main event match, it's a tag title match, just a straight normal match, but a tag title match nonetheless. If Shinsuke Nakamura and Grand Metalik versus Mason Austin Theory, they should hopefully... Titles are on the line. Tag titles on the line. Two, Let's see what happens three. here. Three, here we go. Nakamura still and win. Metallic retain in a good main what, event. What was my mid-card? It was three, wasn't it? It was one and a half star and three, I think. Okay, three is fine. Three yeah. is fine. I think it was either three or three and a half. It's finally a level two rivalry after about five matches. It's level two. Well done, Pete. That's fine. That seemed like a you know fairly... What? That's a, as I said before, solid. A solid, solid, solid show. Break. Okay. I'll so. take it. So here what we got going on a Monday Night Raw, Ooh. opening with uh, match. Yeah, tag titles are on the line here. Ask okay. Amy versus Mikael, uh, uh -huh. Raquel. I've called them um, uh, Rosales. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sudden. I'm so sorry. 
That's Ro bad. Rosales, Pete. No, 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 I got it. Yeah, yeah, Ro Ro Rosales. Anyway, I'm going to stimulate this one. Mm -hmm. uh, poor old Asuka is a little bit banged up, and she's only now the bloody tag team champion. Uh -huh. With a great match and a level two rivalry. Star opener, solid stuff. Lovely stuff. Here is uh, Dakota Kai calling out Shayna Baszler, who mm -hmm. I was looking to rest this week. You king bellend. What? What? Why the f did they bring you back to this company? You can't do <laughs> jack sh Dakota Kai. Just kidding. I think Dakota Kai's great. Dakota Kai's really good, she's, and we like her amazing, a lot. But, uh, Say class. Yeah, that did uh, dick all. Yeah, did that, that, that did dick all. Yeah. As that is still level one, but it's okay, Pete. Oh, because <laughs> it's the feud everyone comes to Monday Night Raw to this, see. This, guarantee you, because it's got Slapjack in it, will outperform your opener. And you'll be real sorry. You reckon? It's a tables match. It and is, it's Slapjack. It is a tables match. Let's stimulate it. He Can should be world champ. Higglesby, Higglesby gets the win again <laughs> in a three what? level four right there. Ugh. Higglesby, by the way, re-signed to Monday Night Raw. Uh, re-signed to Monday Night Raw. Mm, he okay. said, he goes, hey, I'd like to stick around. And mm. I was like, I think you should. So he's re-signed for another like five weeks or so. In the comments. Hashtag Slapjack deserves better. Look, it's not my fault that Slapjack keeps losing to Higglesby. It clearly is. <laughs> You're not playing to his strengths. His strengths being feuding with Tucker. And here we go. Keith Lee calling out Cedric. That grows that to a level three. Solid stuff. Man. Delightful Solid stuff. stuff. So that is uh, <coughs> two views that can blow off at a pay-per-view mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm, Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Here is and Cedric versus Olaf. Extreme rules. An extreme Jesus. rules match. Just a, right. It's just a little match on the card. Both have got excellent... And there's Olaf the tag wins. champ getting up. And good, good match. Doesn't no start rivalry. a feud, which is fine. Because Cedric's in a feud with Keith mm, Lee. Good. That was just there to be on the card. Olaf, deliver a good match. Undefeated so far. Well, of course He's he a monster. Is. Look at him. He's a monster, this Who man. Who can beat him? Yeah. Who could possibly eliminate him from the Royal Rumble? And there's Brute Force with nice charity <laughs> promo. Thank <laughs> you for the 5,000 fans. Security Brute Force. BruteForceCharity.com. Who's he supporting this week? He's actually, it's for security cards of America. <laughs> it's for all those security guards that get beaten up when like, during really intense feuds when mm -hmm. they're trying to break things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, he's basically starting a little campaign to protect right. all of the security guards that get beaten up. So it's what Mark Sterling did on AEW. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. He's actually going to be part of a 21 on one match on the <laughs> bullsh they did on yeah. Rampage. <laughs> Uh, anyways, that's fine. And here's my main event. Uh, I'm hoping this Ooh. will further the feud between... Uh, Wait, 29? Yeah, 29. Oh, no. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Brock, Brock wins. Lesnar wins. No and injury. Oh, and no rivalries was... either way. No rivalry with Nakamura. No rivalry with Balor. Well, I mean, it's fine. I don't want to... Like, it's a match involving Nakamura. Of, of course, course it, it didn't, didn't further yeah. a rivalry. I might, get, I might just get fucking rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> legit, he is a fucking curse on my roster. My head cannon, he's a spy from SmackDown. <laughs> I've sent him over with a crown so he fool you and not further any rivalries. He's an absolute fucking liability, is I Nakamura doing I jack sh for it. me. That was a pretty standard week for me, in all fairness. It was a standard week for both of us, right? I think there. so, yeah. And I took I took a risk with Brock there, yeah. and it three, didn't pay off in any 3. way. 3.5, 1.5, 3, 3 for me, and then 3.5, 3, 3, for you. So yeah. you had a better show than I did. Yep. Um, but and, and and I did logistics. Oh, well done. Thanks, mate. Did you do them all? I did all of them. Wow, yeah, great. Yeah. Any optional bonuses on there? Oh, uh, one of them was an optional bonus. No, I got two. <gasps> I mean, Pete, I don't think they actually do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you got a couple rivalries here, level two, level four. Yep. Uh, and a level, level three, three there. Level three. Very good, very level good two. stuff. Okay, yeah. so. So I've got currently, one, two, three, Five rivalries on the go. Mm -hmm. uh, one at level three, one at level four, one at level two, and two at level ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rivalries Whoa. currently. Uh, but a lot of them aren't going to go anywhere. Big rivalry piece. I will, I will, I'll try and cultivate them for the third pay-per-view cycle. Uh -huh. And then I can build them up for delaying. that. That'd be, that'd be nice. <laughs> Um, but let's see, let's see how go, this yeah. shakes out. All I, don't, right. I don't think I'm going to get much. <clears throat> so 59. 59. It's not huge. It's not huge. It's not huge. It was a standard week. But yeah. love to see that profit. And it's very nice profit right, there. Good, Good show, show tonight. tonight. Yeah. You know what? That's fair. Yeah. Good show. I think it, on the Rest Talk podcast, we would just yeah. be like, this was a nice, solid week of SmackDown. Yeah. This was a nice, solid cramp page, this one. <laughs> uh, how far into the deep end are Wacky Wild and Ivar going to go? The rivalry's getting crazy. It's level four now. And I've only got... Ooh. 
two more shows before the pay-per-view. So just maintain it there. Top, we'll ropes, it off. top rope streets here. No one can accuse SmackDown of being repetitive, even though with Ivar and Joaquin Wild on the show. There's no repetitive matches on this show. Yeah. You're well, right. Everything was different, you know. Dana Brooks had all, all the airtime, yammering away on the mic tonight. Uh, great promo shots. He gets the win over Nia Jax. Orton called out Tucker tonight, knocked it out the park. Ivar versus Wacky Wild was awesome. Their wrestling classes fit each other so well. <laughs> Love the idea of someone going on Twitch be like, their wrestling classes Those fit classes. each other very well. That uh, fire type Pokemon is <laughs> really good against the water type one. Uh, someone to SmackDown must really like Dana Brooke on almost every week. She's your champ. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want her to not be on the show? <laughs> Never seen Shinsuke so Nakamura so dominant before. When was the last time he lost a fight? Both the last time he started a f***ing feud to be the actual question there. It's a completely different person. <laughs> King Nakamura and Shinsuke. How many feuds have you got Nakamura in? So he's in the men's tag match. And he's got a feud with Theory. I can't f***ing buy a feud from him. Yeah. That's a shame. But it's good for me. Am I number one I again? Think you probably will be. Let's find out. I am number one. Yeah, I did okay. not do my commissioner goal because I didn't want to. What was yours? Uh, schedule a run running on one of your champions, which I could have done. I didn't want to, but I could have done it. But it was like injury rehab card, and I was like, mm, I've already got a couple in the bank anyway, so yeah. I just didn't need it. Yeah, mine was um, uh, schedule a running on your top champ, like your top most popular star. Yeah, which of course is. Brock, Brock. Yeah, that makes sense. Triple H is trying, trying to injure people. I hope your power curve is worth it. Uh, here we go. 55. 55. Wow. Even though, man. Like, what the f*** am I doing wrong on this game, Pete? It's a great question, Luke. I don't f***ing get it. I mean, you had a better show than I did, right? I had a better the, show. The matches were better. Yeah. I had an optional bonus on the logistics. <laughs> Does that count? Does that count for something? Ah, oh, Clue, man. Like, I just, I don't get it. Like, I did. I have it, more variety on the show than you did. I, I don't know. Looks, I had multiple gimmick matches. I, I did that specifically because mm. I was like, I want to try, and it did, like, you know, match card quality B. Mm. Yeah. But like, I, I think, don't know. Me what? and you. I think after this, we should go through the footage and have a look, compare stats side by side of this screen versus the other screen, and see what's different. I don't get it. <laughs> So. I genuinely think by the end of the series, you'll be like, I don't even want to do a series three. Yeah, well, this like, game. like fucking Brock Lesnar is like the most over person in the entire game. <clears throat> and yet yeah. it doesn't bring in diddly dick fans. I, I don't know. F I just don't. F I don't know. Uh, Bra uh, Balor just bro uh, blindsided Brock. Good nice. show tonight, Raw. Thank you, Stone Cold Disaster Musician. I, I can't wait to hear your tunes. <laughs> um, better luck next time, Slapjack. Ugh. <laughs> oh, his Twitter handle is Great Fowler. Oh, yeah, I hate it. Uh, someone on Raw must really like Dakota Kai on em almost every single week. Yeah, she was on this show this week. Yeah, that's true. Uh, how long do I have to wait to see King Nakamura get a title shot? F you, Raw GM79. Amazing. Mr. Higglesby settles the score with Slapjack. Raw has the best rivalries. Uh, uh, and Amy and Askin Rosa and Rosales. Rivalry is really huge. Rosales. Up. Keith Lee sure spends time running his mouth. Yep. Just seeing Cedric lose against Olaf, who's a far more talented fighter. Clearly, yeah. Brock Lesnar takes the match from King Nakamura. Could have gone either way. Could have gone either way. Could have gone either Nakamura way. Either well, see, what wasn't going either way was... Oh, free crew booking. Yeah, as you know, it's a way to save me some Absolutely. money. Because yeah, that's... that's, that's an, I can use that money to buy mm. power cards and shit. That was, exactly, my, that was yeah, my logic yeah. behind it. Yeah. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> Ranking number two. And I am... <laughs> the gap grows there. That's 25,000 fans. And you've got like a hundred grand more than me. It's good to meet the left. Fuck me. Yeah. Running. It's going well for old Petey Pops. Crisps on toast. Like this is. Oh, this is yeah, a bad fucking week for me. This is great. Man, I can, I've. I need to do something fucking big at this pay per view. I'm having a great time. There's nothing that can stop SmackDown. Yeah, apparently fucking so. Like, is SmackDown the default? Just like always wins. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's what we do at SmackDown. Is we, we make winners here. We build the stars of the future and we win. For fuck's sake. Do you know what? I'm not gonna say why am I so bad at this game. I know it's what you all want me to say. I want me to say the line, Bart. But I'm not going to. Because I don't think I am bad at this game. This game is bad for me. There's probably something key that I'm missing. Mm -hmm. There's some button I'm not pressing which is <laughs> increases this. Increase score. 
Clearly, it's the button that I always press. <laughs> That's it, you're just not telling I'm me just about not telling it. you about it. But you didn't though, did you? But you didn't, because you didn't do it. Fudge, that's annoying. <laughs> so that was your week, Luke. <laughs> and you can go and watch that episode right now using the link in the video description down below or go to patreon.com forward slash wrestle talk. You get a little bit extra when you go over there. What is mm -hmm. that, Pete? You get a little extra booking podcast as well as the one week's early access where me and Luke talk about our candid thoughts about the episode, any behind the scenes stories that we have coming into it and uh, our expectations going forward. You can get our, our behind the scenes, peek behind the curtain thoughts in this little, little mini podcast. It's fun. And thank you to this episode sponsor, Incogni. You can get 20% off at checkout using our link in the video description down below. But the first 100 people to use that promo code PUSHTUCKER will be the ones to get that 20% off. So don't delay. Just go in there, click the link, and use that promo code right now. Show them some support because they have supported us here at Parts Fun Known. You, you really could have set that up with don't delay, get it today. But you, but you didn't. You just went with, go to Lincoln Getter right now, which just, like, isn't as good. Don't delay. Get it today. There we go. He's done it. And I, and I did the voice. Mm. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode. We'll be back next week as we continue the road to All Out. It's TLC, Luke. Uh, apparently so. It's still TLC. We will see you in seven days' time. I've been Luke Owen, D-A-D, representing Monday Night Raw. I've been Chopper Pete Quinnell, representing Monday Night Smackdown. Jam that jam. Oh.